Hold it, I've been killing shit. Act like you know she can't believe I. Uh, hopped up, let's get down to business. This sound is pissed from this Mount Virginia and his town. Shit been fucked up since I've been in the game. We don't think the same. I'm in the beamer and I'm switching lanes. I vibe with it for I ride with it. Slide with it, fly with it. That's how I get it. My own direction, GPS don't like. Yeah. What hurts your ego? At this point, nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so confident in myself and what I can do. If somebody don't like it, well, you know what I'm saying? You know someone else will. Mm -hmm. And I know I do. How do you feel about it when people say that you're arrogant? Like, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, how am I arrogant? I don't think I am. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just I think I'm as confident as I should be Right I'm as confident as As everyone should be The hum the humble thing Works for Certain types of people For me The nigga that, that Has to fight for every bit of attention I get as far as music goes I have to, I have to fight for that shit So if, if that means I gotta be arrogant And I gotta say something that's going to make people think that I'm like full of myself. Mm -hmm. All right, I got your attention now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I tricked everybody into thinking that I was dropping a project every time I dropped a song. Yeah. It was just like, a, um, I wanted it to be like an event. What's that you said? I couldn't hear the talk over the money. You see me, you don't walk over, it's funny. I hear everything, motherfucker. I had a good laugh, party hot. Yo, bitch at the crib, flashing me like it's more. I like the show uh, Project More Than 1920. I just feel like you put so much more into it. Yeah, I did. And that's and it's, it's because, uh, like, I had more time to, like, and that's why I was thinking, yeah, because they were so spaced apart. I wouldn't say 1920 was rushed. The vision I had for it, I didn't, I didn't execute the vision completely. The gate, I ain't slowing down. My niggas is focused now. Our minds on money, you still on that whole shit now. You can't even hold shit down. Your niggas ain't really your niggas. I'm still with the ones I begin with. Try one of them and you finish it. What made you make the cover? You getting your hair braided? It was supposed to like symbolize. Cause I had grew my hair out that year, and that was the first time that I really like, like I really did that. Anybody that knows me from before, I I, I was in my hair cushion. And um, it was supposed to like, it was supposed to symbolize that the growth of me. And then it was supposed to be like, this album is for you to listen to while you're doing something. Yeah. You can listen to this while because I want you to actually listen like, you know what I'm saying like you could be doing something but doing something that you like you can't move right now like I feel like it's so many tight niggas around here but I feel like there's a disconnect that people just be like stuck in their own shit so they don't be trying to like listen to nobody else or like help mm -hmm. anyone else or like even work with anybody else how do you feel like you can help with the disconnect in the DMV rap community. On my side of things, I can like get people together on my side of things. But I think, I think like the trap niggas probably need to be a little bit more open to work. Kanye got songs with Future. You know what I'm saying? Right. Kanye Hits. got songs with Future. Like, like it, it can really be something like, like amazing. For real, that can take everybody over the top. Like, I can do something for you, you can do something for me, and then like we kind of like switch. When Diddy posted that video with your song, how did you feel? I woke up to it, and that shit was lit. I was like... So you didn't know about it beforehand? No. So you know how when you get up, you go get your phone, you go check your text messages, and like whatever you miss while you were asleep, right? Yeah. I get on Instagram, well, I'm, I'm still half asleep, and I have a, a Instagram notification and somebody like, oh shit, they posted your song. I was like, why the fuck, why the fuck are they on Diddy's page talking to me? Yeah. So I go on that shit and hit the sound jump and my song is playing. And I'm like, why is my song playing? Like I still didn't understand. 
then I fully woke up and I scrolled down and read the con like the caption and it said my name and the name of the song. I was like, oh shit. And I called my mom. But the whole like traveling thing, that shit is like, it feels good. Like it lets me know that, that one, I'm doing something right. And that I should like keep it up and go harder so I can go more places like out of the country instead yeah. of out of the state. And it just lets me know like, I should be like grateful for all of this. Like yeah. I'm, I'm thankful for everything. Cause like, why would I be, um, why would I be ungrateful for like all the blessings and stuff that I'm getting? Not to be like real religious and stuff, but like God's the reason why all of this is happening. Yeah. Like it, it wasn't like this when I was like 10. Really? You know what I'm saying? Like we, it was, we lived in the city when I was 10 and this was before gentrification. Mm -hmm. So it was like, we lived in Northwest. It was, it was like, it was pretty bad. But I'm 10 years old. So I only know what I can see outside my window and what I hear and then like what my mother's telling me because I'm not in it. And I had to see my mom go through everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything to get us out of where we was at. So I don't take any of this shit for granted because it's all a blessing. And I've, I've seen both sides. Yeah. And that's that's how my childhood was. And that's that's why I am the way I am now. That's why I like what I like. like I was like, I had like a little bit of uh. I had like a time where I was into like skateboarding and that came with like rock music and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That was like a really short period of time. But like that type of stuff, like if I was, if I would have stayed where me and my mother was at, I probably wouldn't have been able to experience that. And then I probably wouldn't be the artist that I am now. Yeah. And that's how I feel. Everything that you go through helps to build the person that you are today. No. I never was one of them niggas that wanted to be a hood nigga. Once I got in the suburbs, I was in that shit. Like, I was like, this is what it's like to be here. It's quiet here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, what the fuck would I want to be anything else for? Why do I want to go back? Exactly. Like, hell no. Like, this shit is tight. I've lived everywhere. Like, like DMV, like, the term DMV is, explains me. Like, like this whole shit, like mm -hmm. the whole area, I've seen all of it. So like, and it's crazy to see how it's changing. Mm -hmm. Like the whole, like gentrification is really nice, but it's, it just like, it puts things in, into perspective. Like, what are they trying to do? Jay-Z's always been my favorite rapper. Kanye, I really like Outkast. T.I. used to be, no, T.I. used to be one of my favorite rappers. Mm -hmm. Lil Wayne influenced everybody. Mm -hmm. Anything Pharrell did when I was growing up, I was going. I was a really big fan of Charles Hamilton. That's why, he's the reason why I changed my name to my real name. What did your name used to be? I'm kind of still going through the, uh, like, like, just flexing the skills that I got mm -hmm. and then like, telling everybody I'm better than them. <laughs> like but eventually, I think this shit that, that stays around and lasts longer, is the stuff that like, like basically like the news reporter stuff. Yeah, because people can go back to that and they go back to that time yeah. where that stuff was happening at. Yeah, and like, it's just like, it gives people a, a um, I think people from out of town don't really understand how it is here. Cause like the biggest thing is like, they they think that the entire Maryland is considered DMV. Yeah, so, no. When I tell people I'm from Maryland, they automatically think Baltimore. But no. Like Baltimore is way different than PG County. And I think t to put that in music, like to explain that mm -hmm. is like necessary. Yeah. For people, people to understand. Yeah, people don't really get it. What does Grand Fam mean? Grand Family. Like basically trying to reach the goal of like getting to a Grammy and shit. Mm -hmm. It's not just the Grammys though, it's just like, that's just like the, cause we make music. 
but like just reaching goals in general. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to get to the highest point that you can get. Musically.